So that timber going to drive itself. All right, I'm going. Hey, come here. Congratulations. Mm. Cheers. Get lost. <laughs> oh, come on. That's really sweet. That's one way of describing it, I suppose so. What can I do you for? Oh, we just came to say hi. Busy trust. Yeah, me and Mr. Groovy. It's called pressure. Look, I've got a job that's gone so far south it needs a passport. I've got another satisfied customer who suddenly mislaid his checkbook, and I got that walking hormone. <laughs> Not to mention, two more mouths to feed. Oh, right, so that's all we are to you. No, I didn't mean it. So. You know, it could have been three mouths to feed, not that you're bothered. No, I'm sorry, OK. Everything's just been a bit mad recently. I am. I am happy. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, well, you could have filled me. You know what you need, don't you? <sighs> I'd love to be, but I am pushed. A night out. Not bad, No, Oh, Mum and Dad said they'd babysit. How'd you manage that? Oh, full of surprises, me. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Sorry, Norris. I didn't see you there. Well, you would have been looking where you were going. You could have done me a serious injury. Oh, you were only a bump. Only a bump? I was nearly impaled on those stupid eyes. What's wrong with my boots? I'll tell you what's wrong with your boots. They're attached to you. That's what's wrong with your boots. You should carry a health warning. I said I was sorry. Oh, and that's supposed to make it all right, is it? <laughs> Who's he? Oh, Norris. is Rita's lackey. Works in cabin. I trod on his foot, accidental-like, and he starts giving me a big old lecture. So what did you do about it? Well, not what I can do, is there? You should have thumped him one. He's a no AP! So what? You don't let people bully you, Kelly. I don't care how old they are. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Just the man I wanted to see. Uh, I'm skint. Oh, well, it's just as well we're living with Charlie then, isn't it? Come on, sweetheart. See ya. Mm. I was just dropping off some shopping for your mum. How was school? Same as always. Can I get in? Sorry. Is everything OK with your gran? I saw her earlier on with your mum. There seemed to be some kind of problem. Has something happened? Has she not told you? Told me what? Forget it. David. You should talk to me, mum. I'm asking you. Please. Gran got a card. When? Yesterday. She's really upset about it. Don't say I told you, right? Of course. David. Thanks. Whatever. I bet you don't know the names of those. No idea. It's an iris. How about them? Snowdrop. Crocus, pansy, daffodils. How do you know so much about all this? That old dear just told me. Do you know what? She reckons she knows the name of every plant in this garden. And? Well, you know the geezer with her? That's her boy. She can't remember his name. Here, come and sit down over here. So, this is where you want to put me, is it? No-one's going to make you do anything you don't want to. You're dead right they're not. Tell you what, though. Wherever I end up, if I get like her, I... I never want to see you again. That goes for you, too. Will you promise me that? I'm sorry, Grandad. I can't do that. I've got to go wait in the car. Good lad, that, you know. Remember what I said, son. 
Yeah, I promise you. And this is the living area, or as we like to call it, the lounge. Give it a rest, love. Charlie is going to totally redecorate this. Yeah, we get the message, Tracy. You're very proud of your new home. Yeah, but I'm asking you if you like it. Well, we're happy if, if you're I'm happy. If I'm happy, yes, I know. You've already said that, but what do you think? Does it matter? Well, yeah, of course it does. <sighs> it's not the flat. It's the owner. I'm sorry. No, oh, why don't I make us a cuppa? No, no, I'll do it. Say, make yourself at home, but what's the point? Before you say anything, I smell like a budgie's... Hi. Charlie? Hi, babe. Hi. Flipping egg. What have you been doing? I'm just called hard graft. Yeah, don't think I don't appreciate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to jump in the shower, yeah? Okay. Mm. Thanks for doing this. Well, this is nice. Right. Equal with VT. Not tonight, eh? Oh, come on, Grant, because I want to celebrate. Maybe another time. Are you still thinking about that card? You don't really think he's back, do you? Don't be daft. He's just some sicko getting cheap thrills. I'm sure you're right. All we've got to do is we just got to all stick together and be there for each other. Are you sure you don't want to come? Look, I'll see you tomorrow, my darling. All right, but promise me one thing that you won't worry about it. I won't give it a second thought. Mm. Mwah. Look at him. He ain't going in no home. That's the best thing for him. Yeah, best thing for you, maybe. This was your idea. Yeah, well, I was wrong, wasn't I? He can stay with us. We'll work something out. Oh, you saw what some of them are like in that place. That is going to be him. It doesn't bother me. You've got absolutely no idea the sort of responsibility you're talking about. Well, anything's better than you and Leanne. At least he'll be safe with us. He won't be going on a walkabout every five minutes. That ain't fair. And you think what's happening to him is? He needs us. Whether you like it or not, Jamie, it's not your problem. Well, that's where you're dead wrong, isn't it? Because that's my old man there. Yeah? All right. So what do you want to do? Well, we'll have to sort it out, won't we? As a family, got it? There you go. Hi, love. Hi, what can I get you? No, I'm not stopping. It's just... Um, you haven't seen Sean about, have you? No, not today. Well, he didn't come home last night. Why, he's a big boy now. <laughs> yeah, but he normally rings. I wouldn't worry, though, eh? I'm surprised you even noticed he was missing after last night's action. You've heard, then? I was there. Are you OK about it? <sighs> it's nothing to do with me. Yeah, I'm fine. Sarah's welcome to him. You know, on second thoughts, I will have that drink. Bloody Mary, make it a large one. You don't seem to be taking it too badly. Cold shock, love. So, have they set the big day? It's not going to happen. You know what Jason's like. Well, he proposed to her, remember? Uh, he proposed to a rocket. It looks in the right way. Oh, sorry. Forget it. You know, I wish it were you. I really do. Are you going to be like this all night? I don't know why you're so bothered. She's my daughter. And Tracy's her mum, so get over it. Let's go. You can't let them do this to you. Get anyone a drink? Cheers, but we're not staying. Gin and tonic, if you please. Gin tea for Ronnie. Are you sure we can't get you a drink? Where's Amy? Oh, God, Steve, you're so predictable. Where is she? Steve, you seriously need to get a life. She's with my mum and 